Welcome back, brothers and sisters, to our Team MFC YouTube channel. This is part two of our group ride from Folsom to Old Sacramento. On part one of our video, if you remember, we showed you our ride from historic downtown Folsom all the way to here, which is our first stop. Once again, with us in our group, from uh, left to right is Brother Rex, Brother Abner, and Brother Noel, and of course me, Brother Boy. We are here at the William B. Recreational Area. It is a regional park located at the end of Arden Way in Carmichael. The area is also home to a man-made fishing pond, which is stocked with trout, catfish, bass, bluegill, and perch. So there's a lot of fishing going on here. There is also uh, some picnic areas, which is for rent for $125 each. You may choose your own area because each area has a different site capacity, which ranges from 50 to 150. So right now, let's listen to a little bit of sharing from our brothers. Tsaka malaking motivation talaga yung ano, yung love results right after mm. three months. No? Yung triglycerides ko, cholesterol, pagsak sa lahat. Yeah. Yeah. Yung malaking uh -oh. Pero na ano mo pa rin, inaalalayan mo pa rin ang kain. Oo, oh, dapat. Hindi, oo, oh, yung regular lang na diet. Uh, oo. Oh. Oh. Kasi dati kahit gumagamot ako, oh, talagang hindi gumagamot. Eh. Ngayon, hindi naman dinagdagan yung dose ng gamot. Biking lang. Yeah, narinig niyo yun, mga brad. Ah, uh, testimony yan. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, you have to work. Brad Biker. <laughs> yeah, ako rin nung ano, borderline na ako nung ano. Nag-upsa ako mag-tennis. Bulat ang <laughs> doktor ko. What did you do? <laughs> Diet at tennis ka. Kailangan yeah. 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 talaga. Lalo na mag si 50 na. Okay, I'll go 50. You don't look like it. General. Kailan ka pa nag-start mag-bike? Ayan. Ang tawa naman mga... 2014. 2014. So, 6 years ago. 6 years ago. Bike, Sabi mo mataba ka pa noon, di ba? Oh, 100, 100, uh, 215, oh, wow. 180, 185. Oh, nakita ko yung mga picture mo noon. Huh? Oh, sa Facebook mo. No? No? Oh. Sakit yung katawan. You know. Pag umpisa na mag bike. Anong ano ka na ngayon? 180, 185. Oh, yan ang kailangan ko. 70 pounds ang na-lost mo. Mm. Wow. 30, 30 pounds. Oh, 30. Right. Uh, sorry. Guto mo yan, Brad. Yeah, that's good. Pinagaganda ko tapos. Pinagaganda ko tapos. Galing, galing. Napaisip ako bigla. Para lumabas ang pagka... Ano, lumabas yung calculator ko. 30 pounds. Tama ba yun? Laki na yun. Bike lang. Love. If you don't wanna change, ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to. If you don't wanna change, I can help you out. I can help you out. I can. I'm calling talaga online. Kaya ko lang make ganito, malamig, yeah. 50s, 40s. Kasi yeah. pwede ka mag-bundle up eh. Oh, yeah. Tapos pag pawisan ka na, sa, sa malamig, pag pawisan ka na, wala na, mag-control. Rather yung malamig kaysa doon sa summer? Kasi yung summer, mainit. Yung summer yeah. Kasi yung mainit, kahit tanggalin mo yun. Wala. Oh. wala kang control. Wala kang control. Hindi yung makakampi. Tama, tama. Sabi mo, bro, malamig pa. Oo, oh, hindi. Kasi pag mag-umpisa ka na, mainit na. Pag nag-grade yun. Oo nga. Mainit ang katawan mo. Tama. You make this mess and let me look for pieces. Yeah? Okay. Para maka... Mauna ka na? Mauna na ako. Para maka... Balik. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you. 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 Th
Next week ulit. Sarap ka na maganda. Magbali ka. Hi, off kang, off kang ano, weekend. Ha? Off kang weekend next week. Oh, okay. oh magano naman tayo. Picture mo na kayo ng naka-uniform tayo. Yeah, 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 Mag yeah. ikaw yung selfie mo, Brad, para isang picture na lang sayo. Okay, we're going back to the trail. And on this leg, we're gonna ride from this recreational area, William B. Pond Recreational Area. And we're going to Old Sacramento. As you can see from the map, that is still 11.8 miles, or it would take us about an hour to get there. And so we're gonna show you that, and then we're gonna have lunch there. So that's perfect timing. So it's 11 a.m. here in uh, the recreation area. And the temperature was 48 degrees already. So remember when we started, we started at 41 degrees in Folsom and just after an hour, it's, there was a 7 degree temperature change. So also I forgot to mention to you, this ride was done in December of 2020 and it's also our last group ride for 2020. And so to end the year, we wanted to stretch our miles and uh, and do try to do a hundred kilometer group ride, which is about 62 miles. So we'll see if we're we're gonna be able to do that today. By the way, I forgot to mention we are not a professional cycling group. The reason we are wearing a, a team cycling jersey kit is because we are members of the MFC or Missionary Families of Christ uh, and we started riding our bikes when the lockdown started which it was around March or April of last year but we do have a cycling coach which is no other than brother Alfred Haushan you see, Brother Alfred is really a fast rider and he's a member of the other cycling clubs here in, in Roseville. Brother Alfred also completed a century and a double century ride already. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to join us on this ride. But you will meet him soon in one of our videos. You might be wondering where the American River is. The American River is actually to our left. A few moments later. This is the famous Guy West Ridge. It is a suspension bridge for pedestrian and bicycle traffic only. And it is spanning the American River in Sacramento. And it's linking the California State University with the neighboring campus commons development. It was designed again to resemble the Golden Gate Bridge, both in form and the signature international orange color. This part of the video um, is on time lapse. Uh, I didn't realize that I set it to time lapse when I replaced the battery during this part of our ride. Along, I feel the rain crashing down 
This is the same way going back. So I promise to tell you more about this route later on on the video. The video going back is on regular speed, so it's not on time lapse. So I can tell you more about the, the features of this route. And we're finally here in Old Sacramento. We finally arrived in Old Sacramento and now we're trying to look for a place to eat. We forgot to check <laughs> if uh, any of the food places are open because of the lockdown, the COVID lockdown. So we're lucky because our favorite restaurant, Railroad Fish and Chips, is open. So we can finally order and eat our favorite foods. A few moments later. Ito na, kakain na. Ano in order mo, Brad? Chowder. Clam chowder. Calamari. My favorite calamari. Calamari. It's always cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> and coke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A few moments later. So after lunch, after resting for about 30 minutes to an hour, we decided to head back to Paulson. Just a word of precaution when you're biking on the boardwalk. You always have to be careful because there are people and there are kids as well. So be careful. Again, just maintain a slow speed and pay attention to the people around you. So we're now coming up to this uh, very narrow walkway. Elevation is going down. And you're sharing this walkway with, with pedestrians as well, so be careful. On your left is I Street Bridge. If you follow that to your right, it would lead you to Interstate 80.
As we do this right turn, you will see on your left is this Cornea Park. It is a 13 acre park where you can swim, fish, ride your boat, grill, barbecue, play ball or just chill by the river. By the way, there's a $5 parking fee to get in. We are now crossing the Jibboom Street Bridge. It is a historical metal truss swing bridge located on Jimboom Street in Sacramento, California. And it crosses the American River in Sacramento County. It was built in 1931. The main swing span is flanked by two Parker through thrust spans. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and as you go down the bridge, you're entering a park and this park is called Discovery Park. This park is a 302 acre park located just outside downtown Sacramento and it is at the confluence of the American River and the Sacramento River and it can be accessible through the Garden Highway exit of Interstate 5 and the Discovery Park is also considered the trailhead for the 32 mile long Jedediah Smith Memorial Trail which continues all the way from Sacramento to Folsom. This area has uh, some soft softball fields, an archery range, a picnic area and some boat ramps. <laughs> Okay, at this time, I'm gonna share with you from uh, bicycling.com Three common questions answered for beginner cyclists Like ourselves, right? So the first question is how do I know when it's time to shift gears? Okay. So what it says is your bike's gears are designed to help you keep a consistent cadence which is usually supposedly around 90 revolutions per minute or 90 RPM. Um, this will allow you to pedal with maximum efficiency. Riding conditions as a, such as wind resistance, terrain, and group dynamics are constantly changing and you should adjust your gear ratio accordingly. So when it's going up, that means you have to shift your gears to the low gear. I mean the big, uh, how do I explain this? To the lowest gear to make sure that the gear is easy to pedal so it is really best to anticipate the conditions you know that will affect your effort level so you can shift before you actually need a smaller or bigger gear so when you see that there's already uh, an uphill um, that's when you have to change gears to a lower gear already so changing the gears gives you less pressure on the pedals and allows for a much smoother shifting and less wear on your drivetrain and 
especially on your knees and legs. Question number two. When should I be riding in the drops? Uh, riding in the drop me drops means that you're holding on to the lower part of the handlebar. Okay. So you ride the drops when you need greater control of your bike. Because with your hands in the drops of the handlebar, you put more weight on your front wheel which stabili stabilizes the bike and increases your braking power. So on long descents especially, move your hands down before the speed rises above your comfort level. For some cy new cyclists, riding in the drops can cause hand, neck, and shoulder discomfort. But correct handlebar selection and brake level adjustment and proper bike fit should allow most people to comfortably ride in this position. Okay, so make sure that whenever it's downhill or uh, you're going so fast, make sure you're uh, um, riding the drops, they call it. Riding the drops. The third question is, what should be the right cadence for me? You see, everyone is different, but for most cyclists, aiming for around 90 revolutions per minute is a good goal. Recreational cyclists typically cycle around 60 to 80 uh, revolu RPM, revolutions per minute. Well, advanced cyclists would pedal around 90 to 110 RPM. Imagine that. So riding at high cadence of around 85 to 90 puts more stress on the heart and lungs but a lot less stress on your legs and back. This means you delay leg fatigue and once you have the cardiovascular fitness, you can maintain your pace for a lot longer. So riding at a lower cadence means you have to push harder on the pedals to turn the cranks around which puts more stress on your knees, your hips, and your back especially. So the term riding in a big gear means that you travel quite a long distance per pedal stroke but it requires a lot more strength or torque so the muscle strength required for this bigger gear work is harder to maintain over a long distance we also find this approach to be a lot riskier in terms of injury and then the other term is riding in a small gear or spinning we call it means you might have to turn the cranks over like three times to travel the same distance as one revolution in one in the big gear but it doesn't require as much strength and ultimately creates a more efficient pedal stroke all of that said Changing your cadence isn't something you can do overnight. It can take weeks or sometimes even months. But your body will have adapted to your current cadence and changing it requires some concentration and effort. So those are the three answered questions from beginners. I hope you got something from that. I will give you more tips later and on our next videos. A few moments later. 
May isang oras pa ba tayo? Mm. Going back? Kasi kanina, 58 minutes, minutes na ipapunta dito. I see. Okay. 225. Ilang kilometers yung 68 miles? 90? Yung, yung 60? Times 1.6 Hindi mag 100 96. km na tayo Kesa yun nga, 60 eh. century, km century na rin Compute mo ha Tignan nyo na nga Sige <laughs> <ka. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Compute mo nga sa phone mo Wala nang akyat, puro flat lang Huwag na tayo umakyat Masyado nung paro sa'yo Tama na yung akyat Hazel na lang ang akyat natin Bakit hindi na tayo makakyat sa bahay niya Gapang na <coughs> Ilang miles yung 100 km? Ito na nga eh, inaano niya A few moments later 62.5 Oh, oh. ito yun na lang Kayang kaya so, Pag nag 63, mi nag 63 miles tayo, more than 100 km oh, Yes! <laughs> Saan doon? <laughs> Saan tayo pupunta? Pag bills point pa ba tayo? <laughs> wow! Mm. So, 5 more miles additional ano? Pag ano lang tayo, sabi ko nga, bago mag-hazel Mag-U-turn tayo ng 2.5 and 2.5 Ay, hindi, hindi, hindi doon na nga tayo mag ano, lagari doon sa may Sa may tulay? Doon sa may tulay doon Masikip doon eh Sa bago ano yun lang, masikip, marami naglalang Ang tao kong naglalang Huwag naman doon sa tulay, huwag sa tulay Doon tayo, bago mag-tulay, hindi muna tayo aakyat You get what I'm saying? From that to lie, to the other to lie, doon tayo lalagari ng... You know what I'm saying? Hindi ko... Hindi ko ma- Or... Ma- okay. <coughs> Cross tayo as if mapunta tayo ng parking. Tapos baba ulit tayo doon kung saan tayo nag-start. O tapos? Tapos hanggang Nimbus, pagbalik natin yan. Magpa-5 miles lang tayo. Oh, eh, paakit na naman yung pabalik. <laughs> <laughs> doon na tayo lumagari, doon sa sinasayik. Mamaya, pakikita ko sa'yo. Maganda pa yung view natin doon. Ah, doon sa tabi ng tubig. Oo. Oh. Doon lang tayo maglangari. Oo, oh, yeah. Isang balikan lang doon, yeah. tapos na. Oo, oh, yun. Yun ang plano namin. That's it, brothers and sisters, for part two. Tune in next time for part three, where we'll find out if we're able to do our uh, 100-kilometer ride. So, hope you can like and subscribe on our channel. So, thank you, and God bless.